Hi everybody, welcome to the new YouTube channel MyTSI. I'm Peter and I invite you to join my journey of building a four-seated aircraft, the Sling TSI. Yeah, the today's episode will be about uh, how I decided to build a plane, uh, how it all began and how it started, how uh, I ordered it and uh, the whole process of getting all the plane and the start of beginning of the build uh, and how it is, how it feels to get the new sling aircraft plane. Um, to start, um, at first, why do I build a plane? This is a question I was often asked. And of course, the first obvious reason is I want to have a plane. And I'm flying in a, in a club. Uh, we are 20 people uh, with two aircrafts. Uh, so you can imagine, uh, you have to ask if there is time for you to fly. Um, and um, my future missions will be to uh, uh, go around in Europe and to uh, travel around Europe uh, and this is not possible if you have 20 people on two aircrafts uh, so I would like to uh, fly for some weeks or uh, even maybe a month uh, in summertime and this is uh, absolutely no possi not possible. Uh, the second reason is I want to have a, a new aircraft uh, with new avionics and uh, a good autopilot so that I can fly long distance uh, and uh, long journeys and it's not uh, possible with the planes I have now. And third of all, of course, I want to build a plane. Uh, uh, I want, I'm really curious about the, how will the build process, how, uh, will it, how, how is it to build a plane, how can I build a plane, can I even build the plane. Um, of course, the working process is one of the big goals I want to achieve with it. Um, yes, this is the, the, the main reasons, of course. Uh, I had a, a lot of um, thinking and talking about which airplane I want to build. Um, and uh, first I want to build a, a Vance aircraft, uh, maybe the RV-10 or the RV-14. Uh, but then I saw the, the Sling TSI and I really fell in love with this airplane. Um, then I went to uh, the Netherlands and I had the possibility to fly one of those aircrafts. Uh, it was at Friesian Air um, and yeah, it was just uh, like a dream came true uh, to sit in this airplane. It's just fantastic. Uh, it flies really, really nice and it has uh, enough power uh, enough room for me and, and my partner uh, and so yes I decided to, to build this, this aircraft. Um, the uh, process of ordering uh, the plane was really really easy. Uh, we had a couple of phone calls. There were many options of uh, this plane so you have the quick build option or you have uh, different uh, uh, kits so there's you can order every kit by by its own or everything together or you can order the, the quick build and I decided to uh, buy most of the kits uh, all together so that uh, the transportation from South Africa to Europe will just be one time uh, a big shipping cost and not for every uh, everything single kit uh, at, at its time. So yeah, what, what is the plan? Uh, the plan is to build the Sling TSI within four years. Um, I hope this is a, a time frame uh, that I can make it beside of my, my daily work. Um, I plan uh, to build it within three workshops. Um, this is my, my first uh, workshop. Uh, as you can see, it looks like a living room, and yes, it is. It was my living room in my apartment, uh, and I made a workshop of, out of it. 
Um, I'm planning to build the empanage kit and the wings kit and the rear fuselage kit in, in here. Um, this is uh, very special, I think nobody else does it in, in the living room, but I decided to do it here because of uh, many reasons. Uh, and the first reason is that I don't need to go to the build job uh, or to my workspace. Um, I'm here in my, my apartment, I can work whenever I want to work uh, and if I have a, an hour of free time I can do something, I can prepare some parts uh, or just uh, read the instructions or something like that and I can uh, steady work on uh, the plane uh, without any delays uh, and I hope this is a, a really good idea and of course I know it's uh, not uh, spacey enough and I know I will get a problem uh, with the space and getting all the stuff to the to the other workshop um, uh, build shop and um, yeah this is a, a handicap I'm, I'm willing to take yeah and then uh, if I have the, the wings and the rear fuselage build. I want to change the workshop to a big garage um, and then I will uh, build uh, the rest of the plane there. So the engine and all the uh, avionic stuff and all that's, the things that's coming then I want to build in the, in the big garage and the final spot of course will be at the airport uh, in a hangar uh, where I can put on the wings. So I have to move uh, twice in these four years, but I hope it's, a, it's an advantage to build it in my home uh, at the first place and at the first part. As I mentioned before, I'm building it uh, in Europe. Uh, I'm in Brugge-Namur. Uh, my home base is Kapfenberg. It's uh, Lima Oscar Golf Kilo. Um, so I have to handle with the Austrian uh, Aviation Authority. They were quite helpful till now. I have the permission to build the Sling TSI. Um, and in Austria there is a special club. It's called the Igo Etrich Club. Uh, and the club is um, a, a club of home builders. Uh, and they are really helpful. They um, make all the um, the controlling for the for the build so if you are closing up uh, like the like the wings some guys will come over and have a look at your build they are controlling it and they are taking helping you to take the responsibility for for the build that it's everything is safe and everything is okay so you're uh, here in my build shop now, in my first sec in my, my living room and you see I have two big tables, I built two big tables, uh, they are leveled out of, of course, uh, so and uh, a nice finishing of the, of the table. So I can have enough room in here. The inventory was uh, really, really good. Uh, I really enjoyed it to get all the packages, uh, the big boxes, to open the big boxes, uh, to get the uh, parts in, in your hands. It's, it's just unbelievable. It's so, uh, so good. You're waiting uh, months for, for those parts. And in the inventory, you cannot, uh, you can grab these parts the first time. You can see all the parts. Uh, you know, you're watching videos and you're uh, taking every information you can get, and you you're looking at the parts so many times. And then in the inventory, you can uh, grab them the first time, and you can can touch them, and you have to open every box. You have to. Um, Go through all the lists. They're a, a really a big, a big list. Uh, you have to take your time, of course, and you have to make it really carefully. Uh, you have to check all the numbers, uh, check if there is the left part and the right part, and how many parts uh, there are in there. But uh, the numbers are quite, quite good. This is a, a quite good system. Uh, sling has here and most of the parts are here 
Yeah, so some parts I have to back order. This is quite normal, uh, but they will send it uh, right in a, in a few months. So to show you how the inventory went, uh, I have here one of the of the packages uh, to see how this everything works. And in one of those packages, there are other smaller packages, and they are. Uh, Everything is packed like this, so you see even uh, small parts uh, all together and you have here the number and what's what's in it and how much it's in it. Uh, so you have to go through all these, all these packages. Uh, take your time, I think I need uh, one and a half week or so um, with two or three people. Uh, so you have a little bit of fun. Uh, and you can get in contact with your plane and it's really really nice work so and after that you have inventory everything uh, you start to build uh, and the first thing I started to build is the the empanage kit uh, it was the the horizontal stabilizer of course this is in the in the manual uh, this is how the, the, the menu looks like. So, this is really, uh, really nice and really good description of how to build. Um, of course, I make my, my documentation how I build and how I make my work also in this uh, manual so that every step I take and every Every work I make, I, I will document this in in the manual, and so that for the authorities. So the first uh, things you have to do is cleaning the parts. Uh, you have to deburr the parts, uh, and there are hardly any burrs uh, on the on the on the parts. They are really really nice, and you have to remove the plastic. Uh, that's a little bit annoying job but it has to be done so you have to control everything you have to to get through all the parts uh, first you make um, you build it up the first time uh, then you check if everything is here if all the parts are in the correct order uh, all the parts are the correct number uh, you deep burning and then you go to to dimple all the stuff so this is it for this episode, thank you for watching, uh, stay tuned for the next episode, uh, we will do the part preparation and the dimple process, hope to see you guys next time on the channel MyTSI.